welcome back guys to Geeks of the Realm and in this video we're going to be doing an unboxing of the new Carrion Empire which has got the flesh uh, eaters in it as well as the Skaven it's the new sort of war box that the uh, Games Workshop are bringing out okay so this is it the new Carrion Empire so we're gonna have a little unboxing of this and we'll get right into it and see what's inside see you soon Right, so here we have it, the Warhammer Age of Sigmar Carrion Empire. Okay, it's the new sort of game box set that's come out through um, Games Workshop. Um, in the, Inside the box set you get f uh, Flesh Eaters and you get Skaven. Now the box set retails at £95, um, but if you go to a, a good gaming store, you know that they usually give you a good discount. Um, I tend to go to Gaming Figures, uh, the website will be... Um, posted below and they do it for £76 okay um, so check them out they'll do all that and all the new stuff the new battle tombs that are coming out for Skaven and Flesh Eaters as well they do do it in there okay so what we're going to do is we're going to get straight into it have a look what's inside the uh, uh, inside this box have a look at the artwork on it and see what uh, see what good stuff we get in it okay so on the front you have obviously the pictures of your Skaven and your ghouls and your sort of crypt horrors and stuff okay that's all right the the artwork's nice on it nice enough around the back okay around the back you have obviously the pictures of the models you get inside okay so we have a what do we have here we have some crypt ghouls we have some crypt horrors some crypt flayers in there we have your warlock bombardier your doom wheel um, you know, so you get all, all them sort of stuff in there, guys. All right, yeah, at the bottom, you get your sort of list of contents. Okay, so you have a 40 page uh, Carrion Empire book. We'll talk about a bit of the Carrion Empire, some sort of different games you play with it. You have a Warhammer Age of Sigma core rules booklet inside as well, which is, uh, is kind of neat. I like that. Okay, which is there. You also get your um, tokens. You get a token sheet, and you will get. Eight war scroll cards for your units that you're inside it. Well, no, very nice. Let's get this open. Okay, as always, nice and neat. Just because I'm a your CD. Okay, that side and all the way down here. Because right, we don't need that yet. Very nice. Okay, let's get this open. And I'm expecting, as with all GW box sets, we're going to have some sort of, I don't know, picture sort of thing there with everything on it. Just because, well, that's what I'm used to them doing. But, no, I think they've, oh no, they have done that. <laughs> they've done it again. We'll go through that in a minute. So, what do we get? We get some four bases for your big boys. We get some, well, ton of bits. Ton of bases which we don't need at the moment because we're going to have a look inside. So we have your, this will be your, ooh, can we all see that? Okay, this will be your Aberrant. Okay, this is your Aberrant that you get, which is your leader from the f Flesh Eaters. Again, there's going to be just a ton of bits to stick onto it. Okay, um, plastic glue, it's not push fit, so you will need to glue it. Okay. So make sure you uh, you have some plenty of plastic glue with you. So there you go, there's your Aberrant. You get, which one's this one? So this is another, this must be either a Doom Wheel or Warp Lightning Cannon. Let's have a look, it'll be a, I reckon that'll be the cannon. Yeah, the Warp Lightning Cannon. Okay, so you get a Warp Lightning Cannon in that. Field of like a sea of plastic. What's this one here? Oh, this will be your warlock bombardier. Okay, your warlock bombardier. Again, lots of bits to it. They are very nice detail. I will say that. Okay, you do in your warlock bombardier. You've got your little rats, a little skull down here. Little rats running around. A little rat on top of his <laughs> on top of his sort of backpack that he's got. Okay. Then we have, oh, these will be your, 
Now the Crypt Horrors are Crypt Flavors. Let's have a look. One, two, one, and the same as well. So we'll have some Crypt Horrors. Okay, nice big wings. And also you'll get some Swallowings there, so there'll be your Crypt Flavors in there as well, I reckon. Yeah. Good, very nice detail. So you get, oh, stay still. So we got all them, and your big scary one as well. I like that. So there were your crypt horrors again. Your crypt players in there, and you get another sheet of them as well. Okay. Then we'll have that will be your wheel, your doom wheel. Hence we can see the wheel. Okay. So your doom wheel, your little rats, rats with spikes on, rats with tubes coming out of them, they must be experimenting on them. A wheel of rats. Let's have a look and see that wheel of rats there. Okay. A wheel of rats. A, a detail on these are very nice. They are, you know, I, I can't complain about the detail on them. Okay. These will be your storm fiends, I think. Or it could be your, probably storm fiends. One, two. Yeah, you get three storm fiends in that. Okay. Very nice, some ninja stars with them, type of thing. And then we get some another part of your wheel. And these will be your crypt ghouls. Okay, so we have lots of crypt ghouls here. Again, lots of detail, lots of uh, components to stick on. Extra bones, extra details to stick on the miniatures or on the actual um, base, if you wish, and another set. So you get, oh, you get twenty crypt ghouls. Okay, that'll be them. You get three crypt horrors. You get three crypt flayers. You get an arborant as well. Okay, um, it works out. I think it's about seven hundred, seven hundred and thirty points um, of. Um, flesh eaters in this box set and I think the uh, Skaven comes to around about 700 as well um, you know just off the top of my head I think it's roughly around about that okay um, this is what I was meaning they always put this on top of things and, the, and I don't know why they do that but as you can see you've got nice picture okay you have a nice picture of there but and you've got little lumps inside it where the plastic has been pressing onto it. Okay, where the books are coming, you can see there. Okay. Well, I think they're getting better because they've put the actual um, barcode on the back now. So you can actually put the picture up if you wish. Yeah, and it is a nice picture. So, very nice. We'll put that over here. Oh, then we get some more. So these will be for your doom wheels and your doom wheel, your... What are these? Storm Fiends, War Lightning. Go on, so we get some more bases. Then we get two. Move this over. Let's move this down here for a minute. Then we get two plastic wrappers. So we get one that's got all your um, all your tokens on. You get measuring rulers, push out fit ones, um, command points, spells, some mystic shields, command points, command points. And then obviously specific abilities, so we get things like Furious Hunger plus one, Furious Hunger plus two, Guard plus a uh, Breach, and yeah, and all the other little tokens that you get, objective tokens and things. Okay, so you get a pack of that, and then we get the books and everything else in there. Let's get my knife. That's, not, that's it. Let's open it up. Okay, so in here we will have that. So we have our building guides first. So we have our crypt ghoul building guides, and you can also have a crypt ghast courtier. Okay, so again, shows you how it's done, and the same as with everything else. Once you've made it at the back, you'll always get sort of the war scroll for it. Okay, it tells you what it's uh, what they do. How many attacks and things I've got. Okay, so you have that for your Crypt Goal. You have one for your Crypt Horrors on your Crypt Flayers. Yep. There you go. So it's two, obviously, it makes two different, uh, 
Two different models, so you have Crypt Horrors and Crypt Ghouls. Crypt Horrors and what was the other one I said? Crypt, Crypt Flayers. Okay. You then get your Aberrant Arch Regent. Okay. So you get one of them. And again, it shows you how it's built. I love the stance on it. I do love the pose on, on it. Like it's climbing up here as a right ruin, ready to jump off. I like it. Okay, then you've got your play claw slash warp lightning cannon. So again, you get to make one of each, um, or not one of each, sorry, you get to make one, you get to choose um, which one you want to make it as. Um, and again, tells you in here. Very nice. Okay. Like I say, it's, you're roughly getting about 700 points of each, um, each army, but you can actually, obviously, change it, uh, add, add different... Uh, Different weapons to it, which will add, uh, add points or take some points away. So you get that in there, you get a Doom Wheel. And the Doom Wheel does look quite funky like. Okay. Yep, loads of different mice and rats to stick on. And then you get your Storm Fiends. Okay, so these are your big like rat ogres. Yep, your rat ogres with all sorts of stuff on. And then your Warlock Bombardier. Okay. So you get him. He's your leader. Very nice. Then we get. Ooh, right, so we get two of these. We get a Doom Wheel, and it opens up two sided because obviously they get a lot of abilities. They look. So you get the Doom Wheel one, and you get the Storm Fiends one. And then you get the Warp Lightning Cannon, and the Warlock Bombardier. Okay, so that's one, two, four units for the. Yep, four units for the Skaven, and then you have four units to, or four units in the War Scroll for your Flesh Eaters. So you get your Crypt Horrors, your Crypt Ghouls, your Crypt Layers, and your Arboron Arch Regent. Okay, so you get them, nice. You call rule book for the actual Age of Sigma. Second edition as well, so Age Sigma Second Edition. Uh, just the core rules doesn't give you all the extra bump you get in the actual core rule book, but everything you need to play in matched play. Okay, and you also get a couple of well, one battle plan. Uh, Any more? No, nope, you just get one battle plan. So you get one game in this one. Okay, whereas if the in the General's Handbook and in the other core rules you get. Six to eighteen plus battle um, games to play. Well, you get a core rule book, so it helps you out. Nice. Then the Carrion Empire book. Now, firstly, artwork again is very nice. Oh, look at that! I like that. Like vampires dripping blood, skulls, spines. Still, oh, very nice. I do like that. So you get the basic backstory of the Carrion Empire. The Vermin Wars, or is it Vermin Wars? Verminous, Verminous Wars. Rise and fall of the different wars they have with each other. Flesh Eater Court, so you get a bit of backstory about them and about the, Ab the Aberrant, Arch Regions, Crypt Ghouls, Crypt Horrors. And then you get the Skaven Clans one, so your Warlock Bombardier, Doom Wheels, Storm Fiends. So backstory. Then as always you get sort of a heavy metal sort of painting painting of scheme of these showing you how to paint them what colours they've used I like all this because it gives you a bit of um, bit of a, not incentive what we call it like a bit of an idea of how you're going to paint yours or you know an inspiration of how you might want to try and paint it paint scheme you know I quite like um, as you can see there's a lot of detail in these and it's very they are very nice looking models very nice looking models Okay, then we have battle, so war in the darkness, so you look at your battle plans, your war scrolls, and pick battles. So, the first one you have is a breach, breach battle plan. So you'll read through this, and you'll play this game. It looks like the clan scared, scared, scary, scariers, scary, right? I don't know, let me know how you say it. Um, just deployed in a 12 inch, and 24 inches either side, and then 12 inches up, just a sort of, Half circle, that's where they get to deploy and everything else. Very nice. Then you get 
Thieves in the Night, which is the Sneak Sneak. Oh. I guess these are little posts between, you can't get in between. Have to read through that and have a little game of it. Then you get Steel Steel. Uh, and then you go for your War Scroll. So these are your War Scroll Battalions you can have. So I'm not even going to try and pronounce that. It's something war, <laughs> Warp Coven. <laughs> okay, and then we get the... Why do they put massive words in? Here we go. Ark, Ark and Santorian. Ark and Santorian guard. Eey, I don't know. Then we get the war scrolls for each of the units. Okay, in this book. So there's your crypt horror ones. And then we go into your Skaven. And then your pitch battle profiles. And how much each, uh, each individual one's cost. Okay. So, all in all, it's not a bad. Not a bad uh, sort of box set to get. Like I say, you're looking at what? In this box set, you're probably looking at, well, it's over £100 worth of models in it anyway. And you're going to pick it up for, well, if you check out gaming figures, you're picking it up for £76, which is obviously a bargain for what you get. What I will say, in this box set, the if you're going to look at taking this out and playing it on a big, big battle of Age of Sigma, the Skaven, you, it's not a legal army on, on the Skaven one because... There is only one thing that can be battle line, which are your storm fiends, and they can only be battle line if your general is a master clan or a uh, what's the other one? The um, clan skier, and all your other models have to be clan skier as well. So, and you only get three of them, so that's only one unit. So the minimum game is a vanguard detachment or a vanguard game, and it's only a thousand points, and you need two battle lines minimum. So you don't get enough for a, an army in this um, or a starter army um, you do however get a starter army for your flesh eaters because your flesh eaters you have your leader which is your aberrant and your battle line are your crypt ghouls okay and you get 20 of them now you can take them in two units of 10 and the units of 10 cost you 100 points each so you can technically have two units of 10 uh, yeah two units of 10 which are your two battle line and then you have your one leader which is your aberrant Okay, so enough of that. If you're going to look at buying it to try and start a Skaven army, you will need to be buying extra stuff. If you're looking at to starting a ghoul army or a, a, a sort of fire, uh, fire, your um, get it right, your flesh, your flesh eater army, then yes, you get enough in there for an army, but it's not going to be competitive. You will need to buy extra. But for seventy six pound. It's not a bad, uh, not a bad box to have a look through, guys. Okay, see you in a sec. Right, so there we have it, the um, Carrion Empire box set. All in all, for seventy-six pound, you get a start of two armies. I wouldn't say you get a full two army for it. Um, you get a, a legal army with the um, flesh eaters because you get two battle lines, or you can make it into two battle lines because you get the twenty crypt girls. Um, so you can make it a, as a legal army, but the Skaven are not legal here, you, so you need to buy another battle line for the um, Skaven. But the models you get are very nice, they're very detailed, you get a lot of models in there for the price you pay. You get all the books, everything you need to play the book, the game, as well as Age of Sigma, um, except for the extra model. So all in all, for the price, it's, it's not a bad box. Not a bad box at all. I would have liked to have seen um, maybe, you know, another battle line for the, for the Skaven. Just so you can look at playing a, a, a good army uh, from Age of Sigma. So it's not just a sort of game in a box. It's more of a game in a box as well as an additional stuff you can use. Um, but yeah, all in all, I think it's a, a not, a bad, not a bad box. Especially if you're a Skaven or a, or a, um, a Flesh Eater um, general, shall we say. Alright, um, if you like this video then please don't forget to subscribe and uh, click the like button and uh, get the notifications for our new videos that are going to come along. We're going to be bringing a lot more um, sort of unboxings and some gameplays coming on soon. As well as we are going to be sort of changing the way this channel looks. Um, for the simple reason is <laughs> I'm actually learning now um, how to do better videos, you know, getting some new equipment coming in. Um, so I'm going to try and make it a little bit more professional for a lack of a, a better word really um 
you know, because I'm really enjoying sticking what my opinions out. And like I said, the most of these are just my opinions, and I have played a lot of the games, so I'd like to think I do know what I'm talking about, ish. All right, some people might disagree, but hey, we all got our own different opinions. Um, so yeah, so please don't forget to subscribe and uh, click the like button. And if you've got any comments, please leave them below, and I do reply um, as quick as I can. Um, try and give you, you know, some feedback um, from the questions you you ask me. So yeah, hopefully, guys, I'll see you soon. Toronto.